Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna do some more experimenting with this awesome IBM X3650 Model 1. It can handle two Xeon processors and the model of this server that I usually use is the one that runs the Xeon model 5400 and all the way from to the top of those. Um, they can go up to about 3.4 gigahertz or something like that. I forget. A couple of videos ago I made a video where I exchanged the RAID controller in this. I bypassed the original RAID controller in the system and I put in a newer one and that's the M5015 and that comes with um, it, it was a regular controller in the model 3 of the same server but I have been able to put it over here and I had to put in a longer cable and do a lot of firmware updating on the RAID controller because it was so far behind but it was able to handle a 3 terabyte hard drive and that was awesome but 3 terabyte was kind of the only disk that I have laying around here I also put in a SSD um, that was a regular Samsung SSD really cheap not, not that cheap well, I, I don't know it's I guess it's regular cheap it's the cheaper brand Samsung they're quite good no problem but very cheap for this use yeah I wanted to see how large a hard drive it can really handle so I have a package so let's go to the table over here and see what I got I have ordered a disk and I have really spent the cash this time I was um, looking up discs and this one is not the cheapest one and everybody likes them so much so I thought I would try one out I don't really like giving the extra money um, there was other drives that I think would be doing just as well but well everybody seems to think that these red drives are the best so I haven't even opened this yet so here goes the magic vacuum you don't get very much with the red drives this one has only like 128 megabytes of cache and if you buy some of the other brands they usually have 256 megabytes in the same size disk so well we'll mount this on a bracket so that it can go into the IBM server Well, so to um, put this in, we have to take another one out, and this one is a, the original 300 gigabyte SAS drive that is in here. This one is a 3 terabyte, the one that I tested with last, some videos ago. This one is the SSD, and this one is a regular 300 gigabyte SAS drive that is doing weird stuff, so we're gonna take that one out. Acting up anyway, so, and we'll put in this 8 terabyte if it fits seems okay so far 8 terabytes plugged in we need something to run the mouse on for start it's gonna be exciting oh yeah 7.276 terabytes so it does it does see the drive unconfigured good everything is awesome the first one is the 300 gigabyte SAS then there is the 3 terabyte then there is the SSD and then there is the 8 terabyte drive so cool there's quite a bit of storage missing because of the way that the storage uh, vendors they measure the disks uh, that 1000 bits is 1 kilobit instead of the 1024 bits is a kilobit but yeah that becomes a thing when you're up in these sizes but it does see the 8 terabyte drive in there so that's not a bad thing so with this RAID controller you can 
you can have a really big storage server. This is kind of why I think this server is really awesome because you can really build on this. I saw in the comments today that someone had bought a server just like this for $18 on eBay. It was the processor was not as good as this. It has a little bit less RAM, but for $18 and the rate controller that is in this one is about $130. And there is a, another one that works not as well, but it can work. It's the M1015 and that would do the same job. You would be able to see the drives. It doesn't have cache and a lot of other good stuff, but it could do the same stuff. It could pass the big disks through to the operating system. And that I think is about $80. So we are at around $100 for a server that can handle at least 48 terabytes of data. You could put six of these drives in, six times eight, that's 48. You can put in an internal SSD disk. I've shown how to do that in another video. I'll see if I can link it somewhere. Maybe at the very end, I'll put in something there. This is an absolutely awesome server. I really enjoy this. But eight terabyte disk, they're still not cheap. This one I paid 2,600 Danish kroners for. Uh, somewhere just below $400, isn't it? I'll put it down here. I'll uh, put some more links in the description for the the server is hard to get uh, but you can get it on eBay normally the rate controller you can get on Amazon the discs you can get on Amazon and this cable thing you can get that on Amazon as well I'll have links in the description for that so if you want an awesome storage NAS server and I have I have done videos on where I install VMware on this server and I install Exponology, which is, um, can we see, yeah, I have a Synology box over here, and that's kind of the Synology software on a virtual machine, and you can pass the disks through to that virtual machine, and it will handle all the disks. It's really awesome, and you can run the SHR file system on that, which means you can put in different sizes of disks, and it will just handle that. But it's really cool that we have now jump the server up from intentionally with the with the normal rate controller inside it it can do 12 terabytes with the newer rate controller it can now do 48 i do not know if it can handle the 10 terabytes disks that is out there but i thought they were too expensive for me to test if anyone has one that they want to give me for this nah, it would be very welcome <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.